about, what do you think about it that has specifically caused people maybe not, you're saying that's a really old process, mm -hmm. what about it and what about making it has caused people not to embrace it before, if it's been around for so long? Well, I think it's now because of the 3D technology, you know, because, I know, sorry, 3D technology, about uh, digital cameras, they are smaller, it's, you can learn faster and it's cheaper, so lots of people can do 3D photography now. And also the prices of development of new technologies really dropped, so it's much easier to invent the new medias, how to see 3D stuff, you know. Now they made a 3D television that you can watch without glasses. They made, made the same, they made a, you know, new Game Boy. It's Game Boy. Nintendo DS. Nintendo, yeah, that you can see, you know, without glasses in 3D. So it's just technological wise, it's the market it's ready for 3D. Since before you need to use the clumsy glasses to view it and everything, it didn't work properly and so on and so on. So it's mostly because of the development of technologies that now we're ready to do it, you know. Who has inspired you most? Artists, photographers, musicians, anyone particular who think, brought you into the I think everything together of yourself. I think everything what I see everything. every day, you know. It's also I'm a really curious person, as I said before, I go to so many exhibitions, I travel every year. Somewhere at your school, somewhere, sometime, one day you decided you were going to go this way. You mean photography or 3D photography? Anything. Anything. I don't know, I really loved photo photography since I was that big. I don't know, it just fascinated me, those, that metal object that my parents had and I always wanted to play with it. I really don't, it's, it's impossible to explain why. Yes, I agree. I don't know, it could be television, it could be a car. Yes. But I was attracted to cameras, so yes. I don't know, that's why I'm doing photography for all my life. and. I'm not intending to stop anytime soon. Yes, we are the most visually orientated society yeah. in history. Now. Definitely, yeah. Compliments to you and all the work. Thank you very much. How involved are you with the printing process? Um, well, the thing is, you have to prepare these prints to be printed properly because you shoot everything in RGB, but then when you print it, it's SMIC, how do you say it? Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, thank you. Uh, and when you transform, the colors change, the colors changes. And if you don't, you know, do the correct, uh, well, if you don't do the correction of the, these files, you're going to print it in CMYK. CMYK. So you have to reprofile it. Yeah, you have to reprofile it, otherwise it doesn't work. So that was the mistake that uh, dazed did you know they just print it out and then you put the glasses on it's not working because the color doesn't match with the colors on the print and then it's just a normal 2d but they invested so much money in the glasses and promotion and everything so you have to be quite involved and check everything especially if somebody that you don't know is printing so also now i was invited to shoot this continuation of this uh, exhibition for the first 3D exhibition in China and when I was shooting there now I asked them please show me one print from the printer where you tend to print so I can check if it's working you know because you can't let them do what they wanted to do and how they do normally without checking it before. Did I answer you? Yeah. yeah. Any other Questions, I'm, notes? I'm trying to invite people to change the word of how we, when we take photographs. Yeah. We say shooting. How about we change it to photograph? Mm -hmm. Perhaps it's because we bring something to our eyes mm -hmm. and it's synonymous with how we bring a gun to our eyes. Mm -hmm. I would like to change that, Professor, if you could have more students. <laughs> the terminology. Oh, one, one, one more question. One more question. Sorry, and this is—it's a very small, random question. But 
it took me half the time the exhibition was up to notice that that was a mouse or a rat right. or some sort of animal on her head. Okay, I thought it was a hat. It's not a hat. It's an animal. Now, um, how many times did you have to shoot that, and why no, is it actually, a mouse it's a stuffed rat on her head? It's a lie. Is it real? No. no. It's a real stuffed one. Ah. It's a stuffed one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so it's it she would have been screaming oh if that had been a real rat. Yeah, she's taxidermy. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty famous um, jewelry accessory designer from Is London. It? Oh, who? Yeah, she's a cute who blonde made girl. It? Who? Oh, I forgot. Yeah. I can't. Was that the one called Thompson Twins? You mean photographic? Not sure. Could be. Oh. <laughs> she's like really nice, cute <laughs> blonde girl, and she and you can't remember. <laughs> I know, it's such a mistake, but she just picks up the red. You can email and let us know tomorrow. You know, she, you know, she doing it herself. And this red had like... When did you notice? Um, two weeks ago. She had um, red Swarovski crystals on the tail and you just put it on. Oh my god. And also here the the, you can see the pigeon's uh, wings. And oh, also that was one. a devil. It's so all it's the like, ones that were shot in London, I noticed. Yeah. Wait, yeah, all the London ones have had pieces? Yes, that one does as well. Oh. It does? Yeah. I really like her pieces and it's really urban, you know, you have, you know, mouses on the underground and everywhere. I just So I was really happy to find her and she was also happy to land and each piece is about like 800 to 1000 quid, so I Amazing. was like, wow. watch the red. Gary! <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the small yellow teeth on the red. Yeah, it's just like, Ladies and gentlemen, not watch the birdie, but <laughs> watch the red teeth. Ed, thank you so much. Ed, thank you so much. It's been a fabulous thank evening. Yes. Really I enjoyed agree. it. Thank really you. interesting stories. Thank you very much. I hope we can.